Good morning, cultists. In our last episode, otherwise known as our first episode, we began our campaign as Abu Tahir al Janabi, who is currently known as the Noble, which is a little weird considering that historically, he's a bit of a bad dude. I mean, he did massacre a whole bunch of pilgrims, so, you know. And also, he was supposed to die a couple of years ago, but I guess we're kind of defying history that way too. Now, that hasn't stopped the game from trying to get him killed though because we did contract syphilis and uh, gout in our last episode. Thankfully, the syphilis was treated by going insane, and the gout isn't a huge deterrent because it's a mild illness, and the successful treatment actually overrides the malices that we get, minus the personal combat skill stuff, but the fact that I'm stressed is also a bit of a uh, downer, I guess. So far, no genius errors, but um, I don't know. I mean, we still have a few years few good years left, right? Hopefully. And I've been kind of on the lookout for more genius women. No genius women of age right now, but there are some coming down the line, which sounds really weird and bizarre talking about children. In any case, um, I think we will go ahead and do a holy war against this guy for Thais. And the reason for that is, well, not only do I want territory, but Thais is actually a pretty good duchy. Um, it's got four uh, counties, meaning that um, I can actually move my capital down here and then potentially have a lot more uh, minor holdings to my own name rather than having the uh, non-capital stuff. Because with the non-capital stuff, I only get the plus 25 for it being, uh, to the levy size for it being part of the capital duchy. But in my own capital here, I get plus 50, which is quite substantial. And once the numbers start racking up, it's going to make a fair bit of difference if I have a whole bunch of, um, you know, baronies here. So, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Oh, did I mention that I want to move my capital to a den? <laughs> yeah, I should have probably mentioned that first. I know historically uh, Al Hassa is kind of the more significant um, spot for the Karmatians, but uh, kind of want to go where the money is because we can also set up a trade post here. Hopefully, this guy will do it for me if he's smart, um, but he may not. And another reason is because if I want to take the religious control mandate, I need legalism at level two. Currently, it's at level one point something. Now, I could spend the technology points um, and get that uh, level 2 legalism, but I figure, hopefully, in a couple of years, we'll have this place all conquered to ourselves, and then we can just move our capital here and not have to worry about changing our legalism stuff. Yeah, or at least that's the idea. Now, here's the problem, though. Um, once we attack this guy... His ally, Berbera, is most likely going to come in to attack us as well. So, my idea is that we would actually go to war with both Thais and Berbera at the same time. Because if we're attacking, if we're getting attacked by Berbera, we might as well capitalize on this and um, go to war with them too. Because we're going to be fighting them either way. Problem is, that's going to extend the war. Meaning that well, I won't be able to move my capital down here. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a catch-22, isn't it? I can also create the Karmatian Caliphate, which I think will actually increase my domain size. Because I think once you're a double duke, that's considered like an additional awesomeness or something. I could actually, I think I might be able to make the Kingdom of Arabia. I just need two duchy titles, yeah. Fair bit of money, though. So I don't know if I necessarily want to go for that right now, but, um... Hmm, and I think the Karmatian Caliphate will actually count towards the duchy requirement. So that would potentially get me like 8 domain minute, uh, maximum. Hmm... I don't know, I don't know. I think for now though, let's focus on our war for Thais. Yeah, and should we do Berbera at the same time? Maybe Baby Steps. Because I don't want to uh, out overstretch myself, right? But then again, if I have Berbera... You know what? YOLO. Holy War for Thais, and Holy War for Berbera. Fantastic. We're all gonna die. Oh well. 
Uh, let's go ahead and have all our troops meet up in Alhasa. Or at least that's kind of the general idea. And I might actually need to hire some mercenaries. Making a decent amount of money. And aha! There's this guy here that I might be able to recruit. His monthly cost is a little cheaper than the other dudes. I think it's because he doesn't have the horse archers that the Mamluks and uh, Gilman have. Hmm. Should be fine. The Mamluks are Shia. Right, right. Okay. They're not a holy order though, are they? I don't think so. Alright, so we should be able to cover that cost. Um, Boats. Let's get everyone on their boats. Thank you. Let's get you guys on those boats. And just meet up there. And I'm going to try to avoid using my... Uh, what's it? Ah, oh, come on. I said I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm going to try to avoid using my event spawn troops. Because I still kind of need them to survive. And act as a deterrent against all the other dudes wanting to uh, blast me in the ass. Why don't you guys meet up in Wiscott and then travel together? Yeah, that'll be good. You guys, though, can bugger off to there. Good job, I guess. Sure. And can I change anything else? I feel like I'm kind of missing something. But maybe not. Hopefully not. Alright. Get on the boats and let's bugger off to... Uh, Alhasa, please and thank you. Do I really want to wait for like 83 dudes? Are they going to make a huge difference? Maybe. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. Well, you know what? Sure. I'll buy you something nice, despite the fact that we kind of need all the money that we can um, get. And they have landed in beta. That's fine, that's fine. So... Oh, right. That, sorry, that's not counting my... Yeah, you know what? Just get on the boats, and you guys can just go away. Thanks. And then once we get these guys landed, we'll go ahead and get the mercenaries and bring them in over. Yeah, I guess because I have my domain troops raised and all that such. Ah, shoot. Alright. Oh, I thought it was this guy. Well, he's got very few troops, so I guess we don't need to worry too much about him. Him, however, 2,000 troops, and he's coming to support this guy, so as long as we beat him off first, maybe we should be okay. Sadly, not a genius. But we will name you Pluten. Still holding out hope that we can get a genius lady. Uh, just keep a lookout. Oh. Hello. Uh, little nurse. Alright. Let's get you guys over. And... Are we good with our commanders? Oh, we can actually get someone better. A siege leader, no less. Hell yeah. And then there's this guy who absolutely hates me. Um, but is a good desert leader. We're not really going to be fighting much in the desert unless we fight in our own territory. So I guess we don't need to worry too much about that. And let's get you over there. Great. Boats. Go back home to pick up our... Mercenaries, and I'm gonna keep these guys on the island just in case someone decides to attack us. Yes. It should be a fairly easy fight for us. Hopefully, we'll take some. Uh, it took more casualties than I'd like, but we're fine. Okay, Holy Order, or sorry, um, Mercenaries. Let's get you guys down to Beta, and you guys can meet up with the main group in a den. Thank you. Yeah, I could siege them down, but let's not. Let's just try to ping pong his troops and cause as much damage as we can. That way they can't, like, bugger off and do uh, things that I don't like. Thank you. Okay, so... Berbera is now coming in with um, a fair bit of troops here. But with our mercenaries, we should be able to handle them. I'd say let's try to stop them from going there. Oh. So, oh, right, right. So that's their troops as well as... Ah, okay. Where's he going? I mean, I don't mean to question your stupid strategy and tactics, but... I'm questioning your stupid tactics and strategy. Yeah. Let's try to get them while they're smaller, if we can. We'll 
try to get them sequestered in uh, Tabid. Is that right? Oh, sorry, Zabid. My bad. Not Tabid. You know what? Try to gather there. It's gonna take 12 days to be able to assault that holding. Uh, how about we just fight them instead? Oh, some dude, some lowly count, really? I mean, good for you, I guess, you know, solving, standing in solidarity and all that stuff. Fantastic. I could siege down their thing here, but that's gonna... I think that's gonna cost us some casualties. You know what, see if we can catch them in Sana. I don't want to, to bugger off. Uh, I think they're about to bugger off, though. Yeah, we should be able to catch them there. And I've inherited Daria. Well, that's unfortunate. And the stupid idiot died without any children. What a loser. And that's a tribal holding. Uh, let's give it to someone with decent martial, but not, like, amazing stewardship. Like this guy, but here, the ugly dude. Nope, is he dead? Why was he on the list? No, I just can't seem to right-click on him for whatever reason. Alright, well, we'll go for, um, Possessed Man. I mean, what could go wrong, right? After months of fights, arguments, and tears, my spouse suggested separate bedchambers. What? Why? Just because I cheated on you with another woman? Come on, miss. What the hell? Unbelievable. Alright. Why is that fight taking so long? Good grief. Yeah, let's try to catch these guys back in beta, and we really need to start seeking some territory down. Otherwise, I think our war score is just gonna stay as is. And my half-brother has snuffed it. Fantastic. Died from an infected wound. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh well. The Mosque of Icarus. Of course, a reference to the famous eagle that accompanied, um... Uh... Cassandra from the hit video game Assassin's Creed Origins. Or is it... No, it's Odyssey, my bad. Origins is the one in Egypt. Oops. Ha! <laughs> Good grief. Hmm... I was kind of hoping that he would try to bugger off back into his, um, friend's territory here, but he's actually gone off to my... What? Oh, I see, I see. My bad, I'm sorry, I was a little confused as to what was going on there. Siege that down, like, took a casualty of about 500 dudes, which is fairly significant. And, okay, you know what? With the siege leader, we're actually able to siege this down pretty decent. Where is he going? And my spy master has snuffed it. Murdered on this guy's orders. Interesting. Alright, well that's unfortunate. What is for- what- what's going on here? I'm sorry, what? Oh, you're attacking him for Blemia. Oh, I see. Are you fucking kidding me? What? The first of your wives has passed away unexpectedly, with your healers claiming nothing could be done. The suspect poison may be the cause. Mosca, who is now your f uh, new first wife, can barely conceal her elation. As the guards move her belongings into her new quarters, one of them confiscates a suspicious half-empty vial. Well, I don't fucking think so. Force her to drink the vial's remaining content. She dead. All right, well, that sucks. Ah, uh, damn it. Da oh, well, well, well. Hello, nurse. And they're willing to just go with the uh, marriage. Perfect. Absolutely fucking perfect. All right. Thank you. Are you my first wife? No, you are not my first wife, sadly. Hmm, maybe that's a good thing. Because then that'll, uh, she'll have a lower chance of getting assassinated, right? Hopefully. Oh, now he's buggering off over there. Okay. Can I make her my first wife by any chance? Can I also get her to convert to my religion? To the true religion? I'm actually not losing a lot of money, surprisingly enough. Okay, we're at 97%, but this guy's kind of getting in my way right now. Um, can you just win your war, please? I mean, come on, dude. Don't be like this. Don't get in my way. No cock blocking, please. 
We will take uh, Zabid. So, are you at 100% yet, or what's the dealio, son? 79%. Okay, I guess we'll let him um, siege down the rest of this stuff. And that should be 100% for him. So he'll take Blemia, and then I'll take uh, Thais. Meaning that this guy will end up landless, hilariously enough. Well, hilarious for me, maybe not so much for him. So that is 100%, but we're not going to piece him out just yet. And this asshole has now decided to butt in. Like a fucking douche. We don't actually need to tussle with him, though. We just need to wait for this guy to piece him out 99% in his favor. Alright, so just go for it. Win that. End it. And then we can go ahead and, uh, you know, declare our war a victory as well. And then piece this guy out, too. Okay. Well, add that to the pool of useless Plutens. <laughs> Uh, I do feel bad about saying that, but whatever. Okay, Tajura. So we're making some progress with uh, Berbera. Okay, uh, is he actually gonna go there? No. I don't want him to take back a den, so we'll try to um, force him out of there. Come on, man. 99% in his favor? Just give up. Dude, what are you doing? What, what's taking you so long? Good God, man. I don't actually want to fight this guy. So, what happened here? Did you... Is it 100%? No. It is not 100%. You're kind of... Cracking my ball sack here, man. Just... Just win it. I don't understand why it's so difficult for you. Were you at the back of the line when brains were being handed out? Just win it. You dumb sack of shit. Go for it, kid. Still 99%. What are you doing? Do you actually know how to lay down a siege? Or are you just kind of standing there holding on to your dick? Which I guess is a form of, um, sieging. Not a very effective form, but I guess whatever works, right? Roshana, uh, let's have you go with Intrigue, because that appears to be your thing. I don't really care if Beta gets siege down, so we're just going to ignore that. Any news? Any development at all? Recently, you have noticed a charming woman at your court. You have never heard of her name before, but her refined manners and etiquette suggest that she had a fine upbringing. She is an excellent conversationalist, and everyone just adores her. Maybe you can make use of her talents. Um, that's gonna reduce my vassal opinion by 15, and I kinda need all the support I can get, so... No? You know what's funny? is that we're actually going to peace out Berbera before we peace out Thais. Which is really weird. Oh well. At least with Berbera, I don't need to worry about um, which lands I need to hold on to, etc, etc. I can just give all of this away. And no more genius women who are of age right now, who are unmarried and meet all my criterion. Okay, um, so the county of Berbera is the capital of the duchy. But, Zela actually is kind of more developed. So we could set up Zeta as the de facto capital. Hmm, tempting. Uwes, why don't you take Zela? Did I say Zeta or Zela? I don't know. Aram, you can take the county of Berbera itself. I might be... Installing people who are too good for these places. Considering the, um, kind of, I guess. Yeah, it's not super developed. I mean, in terms of technology and... Yeah, I mean, they have the trade route going through it, but... Nothing much beyond. Okay. Can you please peace out now? It's still 99%. Is that 100% yet? Oh, come on, man. I don't understand this. Listen, this guy's now sieging me down. That's not cool at all. Do it for me. Just surrender to this guy. Damn it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get the territory that he sieged down and all that crap. Can you not see- You know what? We'll just go back to beta. Why are you still- I'm confused. Why do I care about some little baby? Oh, there we go. 100% in his favor, meaning that uh, 
You'll peace out. Roshana. Young Roshana loves doing things in her own way and often takes it personally and gets angry when others offer opinions. Be diligent. Add a girl. Add a fucking girl. And that, my friends, is this war done and dusted. Perfect. Alright, so as promised, we will move our capital down to a den. Thank you. And now our technology should... Perfect. So I should be able to get the religious control mandate passed. Meaning that I can now revoke his shit. Ah, joyous day. Ah, nice. And I have a potential of... Well, 9,000 troops right now. The Abbasids... Yeah, I gotta watch out. If I'm not careful, they could potentially swoop in on this and... Ooh. Well, well, well. If you're having trouble with that, then maybe I can help you out by getting rid of your tributary state. I'm gonna hold on to that, actually. Hmm, the fact that this was recently conquered really fucks with the levy size for a year. Meaning that potentially someone could swoop in to attack us. So I think the best thing to do right now would actually be to... Hmm, lower and re-raise? Yeah, let's lower and re-raise our troops, and then we'll just keep these guys as is, including our mercenaries. So it's gonna cost us a pretty penny, but the fact that we are going to be really, really kneecapped with uh, troops for the next little while is going to be um, quite dangerous. So Nizam, I'm gonna start giving these away. Oh wait, actually... Uh, Dutch Chief Thais, no, let's make the Armatian Caliphate. Gonna cost us 212 buccaronis. Thank you. And that will put me at 7 out of 10. So now I should be able to, yes, make the Kingdom of Arabia. That's gonna cost me a little bit as well. Can I maybe... Okay, so... This guy, he hates me. I should probably not, um, you know, ransom him. What about you? Can I banish you for some money? One ducat. Useless. Hmm. These guys hate me for... Well, no specific reason. 45 bucks. 140 bucks? Whoa! Where the hell did you come from? Yeah, I'll take that money. Okay. And then we will create the Kingdom of Arabia. Fantastic. So now I have... Uh... A domain limit of 8. Meaning that I just need to give away two counties here. And I think I'll give away... Let's go with Kuwait and Katif. Unless... Wait. I'll need to take Socotra as well for that trade post. Hmm. And we need to build this thing. Ah, oh, shit. That's a lot of money. Yeah, okay. Well, needs must when the devil drives. All right, Nizam. You can take the county of Kuwait. Thank you. And... Who else we got? Let's go with Mirza. You can take the county of Katif. Perfect. Pity Kingdom of Berbera. No. I don't think my wife being a spy master is gonna be super, super great. Because then her personal combat or her thing won't count towards our whatchamacallit. Mm, I guess we'll try to group up our troops as best as we can. And we're making... We're still losing a decent amount of money. Shit. In the meantime, let's go seek treatment for my illness. Thank you. And as long as you know what you're doing. Fantastic. So I think I swallowed a fish. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that you guys hadn't been set in education. My bad. That's on me. You seem to be martially inclined. We'll see how you develop in comparison to your uh, brothers. And you... Um... Maybe let's have one go with stewardship. Sabah. Let's have you go with thrift. And let's have you go with struggle. Alright, so you're my heir. Let's have you go with martial education. Hopefully you'll develop into a decent dude. And I will introduce you to the realm. You've invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Prince Pluten. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way. Something that he might... 
um, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. Well, we'll see, kid. We'll see. Wait, why is my domain size? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Hey, can I revoke your shit? Yes, I can. What about you? Can I revoke your shit? Yes, I can. Perfect. All right, so you're taking the Sheik of Socotra. Let's go ahead and revoke all these Nestorian dudes. Thank you. Wali Shamir of Taiz is a renowned and godly and uh, is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Pluten, Shamir approaches you with an offer that you can't refuse. Shamir is willing to spend some time teaching Pluten how to cut off the heads of horses and then plant them into the beds of their uh, political rivals to intimidate them and also enjoy some delicious horse meat and also learn intricate parts of the Quran in exchange for your favor. He is... Hmm... I'd only need to pay him a 40 buckronis back. Well, I don't really like owing him a favor, so I'm just gonna pay him back, thanks. The Sheik of Beta. I noticed that I can banish a few more people. Whoa! Hell yeah! What about you? 151 buckronis? What the hell? Where are the, these guys getting all their money from? That's insane. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful. I'm just very confused as to where you get your money from. Mm. And Beta is a part of Taiz, so I guess we should hold on to that. Hadramut will take. Now, how are you in doing... So the revolt is currently winning, meaning that I think I might actually be able to attack this guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't think so. My current... I can still lower and re-raise. Except for maybe my vassal troops. Hmm. Very tempting, actually. Very tempting. And I'm currently two over my domain limit. Why is that? Oh, right. This place. And that place. Beta. Beta's not an amazingly well-developed place, for sure. So, Kotra... Ah, I see. You haven't developed your Silk Road trade post. Okay, so that one's being built. That one is, I believe, fully upgraded. So we're good. And he's only got about 3,000 troops to his name right now. Alright, you know what? It's slightly risky. Invasion of Arabia. Or a forced vassalization. Yeah, if I actually force him to vassalize... That means that I should be able to um, revoke all his stuff. Assuming that he doesn't rebel, which he most likely will. Hmm. And right now his suzerain is very busy dealing with the uh, revolt, which is currently winning. Okay, it's risky, isn't it? Yeah. It's risky. And the Holy Order would be a little cleaner, but this is, I think, more effective because then I won't need to go to do uh, several more Holy Wars and all that stuff. So let's force him to vassalize. Thank you. And we'll, of course, keep our mercenaries. Um, you know what? Sure. Oh, shoot. There's not enough boats there. Fuck me. All right, everyone get on these boats. Thank you. Oh, shit. There's not enough dudes there either. Hmm. Hmm. For those of you who can, please get on your boats. Thank you. There you go. Everyone else. 62 boats. That should hopefully be enough to bring these guys in as well. All right, let me give that away right now. And the city, please and thank you. There we go. Okay, so that's those places. What about this? I'm still waiting on this, I think, right? Yeah, in a couple of days. There we go. Okay, so let me give away Hadramut. And that is... It's feudal. All right. I guess I was just a little surprised. I thought it would be... Um, you know, another tribal holding, but whatever. I've been wrong before. I can admit to that. 
Actually, can you guys please land and pick these four dudes up? They're looking all dejected and sad and lonely and shit. There you go. Yeah, so I'm sure his suzerain will come in uh, soon to try to blast me in the ass. As Pluten introduces himself to Mayor Ismail of Tamrida, he not only accidentally spills a beverage on Ismail's shoes, but also manages to insult all of Ismail's ancestors. It's because Ismail's shoes were actually made from the skin of his ancestors, by, so by sh uh, spilling the beverage, which, um, you know, was like really shitty watered down, um, fizzy water. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. That stuff, he it dropped out in his shoe, which is of course an affront to all of his uh, ancestors who were then bound into his uh, shoes and whatnot. What was I talking about? I don't remember. In any case, uh, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll win our war against this guy quickly before his liege can intervene. And then we should actually be sitting pretty. Yeah, this will go away in a few months and then we'll start making a decent amount of money with the trade post and whatnot. Should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!